We're not going to see it at all, and it's going to stay well out to our east. And here we're just going to see sunny skies. In fact, the next three days, I would even venture to say, are the nicest days of the summer. Saturday, 81 degrees. Sunday, 84 degrees, a little bit warmer. And hey, if you want to have a pool party or you like the heat, we even have an 87 degree in there for you as we head into Labor Day. So a little warmer, a little more humid as we head on through the weekend, but overall spectacular, especially considering the time of year. So overall, things are pretty quiet here in the tri-state, but again, we still have hurricane or tropical storm now, Ermine heading up the Carolina coastline. Now, the problem is we still have, of course, 50 mile per hour winds with the hurricane, but you see these little feeder bands coming in off the Atlantic Ocean. We actually have a tornado watch because there's so much rotation with a system like that. It can easily drop tornadoes as well. So sort of a multifaceted storm system here. And we continue to have issues because this will eventually head back out to sea, but take a look at how much it slows down. Sunday, it's located just off the Delmarva, and as we head into Monday, pretty much off the coast of New Jersey, and it could make a secondary landfall. That is something else we have to watch for, which means if you're traveling east, a lot of problems. Again, here, things are pretty quiet. We're looking at clear skies, 72 degrees, winds pretty light out of the northeast at 8 miles an hour, and the humidity, as well as our dew point, nice and low, and that's the kind of numbers we like to see here again comfortable early September weather, but the heat is going to return. It's going to feel a little more tropical as we head into next week and some southerly winds start to kick up. There are some of the high clouds from Ermine. Again, nothing even close to Ohio at this point. We're going to continue with our clear skies tonight and by tomorrow morning temperatures starting off in the upper 50s. Most of us right around 54. 8, 59 degrees, and as we continue on into the afternoon, topping out at 81. Sunny skies pretty much all day long. Maybe a few extra clouds as we head into the afternoon. Some high clouds here and there, but other than that, not a big deal. So future cast showing clear skies tonight. Tomorrow morning, a beautiful start to the day as we head into the afternoon. More sunshine. Again, maybe a high cloud here or there, but for most of us, it's just going to be crystal clear. As we head into Sunday, same story. The temperature's a little bit warmer. Maybe a touch more humidity in the air, but you're really not going to feel too much of a difference between those two days. Labor Day, it will be a little more humid, still bearable. And then we get into Tuesday and Wednesday. Day, and it's really going to start to feel like the dog days of summer yet again. So tonight, 59 degrees, clear, comfortable winds, light out of the northeast. Tomorrow we'll see a high temperature of 81 degrees. And your seven-day forecast, notice how temperatures gradually increase as we head through the start of the week. The humidity is also going to build pretty much as we head into Tuesday and Wednesday. That's where we're going to see those heat indices up around 92, 93, 94 degrees. And then hazy, hot, and humid by Wednesday and Thursday. And we do have another chance for some rain as we head into Thursday and Friday. But again, if you're just concerned about the Labor Day weekend and those fireworks on Sunday night, wow, beautiful weather. You couldn't do any nicer. Mm -hmm.